Well, 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 we going to hit the Godfather of Horrorcore Rap. Let me fix this real quick. We talking about Gangsta Nip. Gangsta Nip, we going to blast in the past. Gangsta Nip, you already know how we do it. We about to roll with this. We about to go ahead and just, yo fam, speak your mind. Speak your mind. Let's go. Thanks to Nip for a movie rap. Let's go. Wait, hold up. You know what? Let me fix my screen. So you guys would know. Hold up. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Y'all remember this? Who remembers this? Who remembers Gangsta Nip? Horror movie rap. That album cover. This album is iconic. Let's get a bloody, bloody basket. Cut his head yeah. and ate yeah. his leg. Now he's in a and base. A tisket, a tasket. Nip and dopey did it. He tried to get smart, so we ripped out his heart. Cooked yeah. it. Hold up, before we even start, I know that just messed y'all up. Your expression is advised. Yeah! Sick in the head, blood shed in a head bed. You want a new leg? Give me some needle and thread so I can throw you one. Cause I'm in it to win it. One thing about Nip, I always give him the godfather of horrorcore rap. Or one of the originators of horrorcore rap. The, the imagery he had in every song, the the mindset to make an album like this to me is legendary legendary nobody could do it it was what him chucky you know butchwick bill um what esham i guess insane clown posse to a degree gangsta nip had this on lot oh brother lynch come on now let's go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. One thing about this, even though the, the, the lyrics is out there, and I love them all, because I know it, it, it's not like he out there really doing it. But the thing about it is, he got bars. Nip has bars. Nip, you got bars, bro. Let's go. One of my favorite albums, definitely in my top 10. This album's in my top 10. Let's go. We're going to break it down to wordplay and the imagery. Come on. The rhyme flow he has, the he even has internal schemes that back then he was ahead of his time doing this stuff. He's the one that you want to credit to horrorcore. It's the nip, I'm worse than Freddy. You can't kill me, cause I'm dead already. Egypt is the motherfucking swing. After 12 right. o'clock, my blood turns hot pink. Now you yeah. gas holes can't do it. A thousand dead cut up elephants in my luggage. A thousand dead cut up elephants in my luggage. Who would think of stuff like this? Like, you got to be, in the, like I said, in a different mind state. Whatever you did to come up with this, you're the man, bro. You are the man. Let's go. A thousand dead cut up elephants in my luggage. Fuck with a psycho, you end up dead. Those who didn't live, drowned in a yeah. turtle's head. A 12 days is my only... Drowned in a turtle's head. For real? Really? Let's go. Drowned in a turtle's head. A 12 days is my only protection. Every bullet shot has a different infection. Woke up this morning with a dead dog on me. So I thought, huh, baloney, if a nigga run up, I don't... And the beat is on point. And the beat is on point. It's horror. I woke up with a dead dog on me. So I thought, huh, baloney, I got something to eat. In 
Kick like Bruce, Bruce Lee. Okay. Go, go with a cow's leg. Don't run up. Cause I kick like Bruce. I wanna and I'm gonna trade heads with a moose. Yeah. Next to nip with the psycho voice. Some say I'm insane cause I married a dead horse. It's Christmas time. Happy New Year, G. Like there's really nothing to break down because this is so straightforward. So you just gotta sit, appreciate it, and listen. I'll take the copyright on it, but some some of these songs that i'm gonna do there's really nothing to break down it's straightforward but i can break down certain things the rhyme scheme of it even though it's a then a then a then a then a boom then a then a then a boom rhymes then goes to the next word so it's not overly complex it's very simplified but it gets to the point it gets the message and it goes with the beat that's the thing the beat makes it matter and his voice. So even that, a dead pig's head make a good ass Christmas tree. So it, he has a little bit in there, but it's it's almost like a conversation. So if you listen to how he raps, it's like he's talking to you. It just happens to rhyme. I like that about a lot of rappers when it feel like when they're rapping, they're talking straight to you. It just happens to rhyme. Yeah. One thing about it is the cadence is on point. The cadence do switch a couple of times. It's kind of sped up. It's kind of slowed. It's aggressive. It's calm. But the thing about it, the cadence is on point. It goes with the beat. So when that beat switch, his cadence slows down with it. So it gets more toned down with the with when the beat switches to just the bells and chimes. After that, when that bass kick back in, his bass and his voice say it with your chest. Kicks back in. He takes say with the chest to a new meaning. Let's go. Yesterday, ten just died. Ten died today. Now this football's on layaway. You said I was weak, yeah. Point blank told me tie the needle to my Shout out point then blank. My grandmother rode me. It ain't another nigga in this world can match this. I feel like swimming in rat piss. Fuck with me. I ain't no actor. My twelve daughters died. From talking shit to a tractor. I'm yeah. getting pissed from the blood I threw. Gangsta Nip going down memory lane. I'm hitting some old school stuff. I'm about to go back. I'm about to go forward. Well, I'm, wa I'm watching the game, y'all. So you see me look at this time. I'm watching the game, too. But UCF is getting the butts whooped by Georgia Tech 30-17. to 17. But either way, go. Gangsta Nip won the best out. One of the best in the 90s when rap was rap, when music was music. Dude was hard. I'm, I, you know, I mess with it. I mess with Nip. Get at me, dog. Get at me. We, we chatted for a hot second. 
um, a couple weeks ago. Get at me, man. I want to holler at you. I want to know how you put this together, bro. I love to do an interview with you. You, your boy, K. Reno. And for those who don't know, Nip and K. Reno battled when they first met. Now they, like, one of the best friends. But Nip and K. Reno, they battled. They rap battled. Um, so, hey, it was on. But Nip got bars. So I'm just saying. But, yo, it's your boy of Lacane and we're face famous. You see it. We out.